So first up, Tree Block is a two-player strategy, 3D strategy game about growing your trees and trying to have the most leaves. Alicia played it, learned it, and played it right before the stream, so she's gonna teach us how to play. Okay, so to play, you're gonna want to win by getting the most active leaves. And those are leaves that are showing um, from top view. So if you look down at the board, you can see the leaf. So, so these green colors are the leaves. Yeah, the green are the leaves, the white and the black are the branches. So if, for example, you had leaves like this and you had a branch like that, this is one active leaf because even though there's two right there, if you look down, you can only see one of them. Okay. So you can put leaves and branches anywhere on the board. Any um, of these spots, right? Mm hmm Yeah. You can start with one leaf and if you have less than three active leaves on the board then you can <laughs> place one <laughs> you can place one block per turn okay. so if you have one there and you have one he here you can each place one block per turn Mm -hmm. um, and you can choose to place either block, but you can never place anything on top of a leaf. You can, uh, okay. you can place it a leaf on a branch or a branch on a branch, but you can never place leaves, anything on top of leaves. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you cover someone else's say she had a branch right here you can cover somebody else's branch like that by and then attaching a leaf to your branch yeah so they won't be able to put any leaves on top of that but they can still go to the sides mm -hmm. so uh, rachel's going to be playing the dark colors here the black and the dark green leaves the black branches dark green leaves and I'll play the light colors, which is white branches and light green leaves. Right. And then how do we start, Alicia? You each will place a leaf. Okay. And which player starts? It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> the one. You want to go ahead? Okay, I'll go ahead and place right here. Starting in the corner, all right. Now you can see in the top down how we have a grid of four by four spots and we have my color, the light leaves here, Rachel's color, the darker leaves here. Oh, and by the way, you can build outside of this grid right here. Okay. So okay. like, if this you, is the only place that you could start like a branch though, right? Yeah, so yeah. if you started a branch here and then you went this way, you can do that. Oh, okay. You can keep going with that. Okay, and then you win by having the most active leaves. Okay. At the at the end. So after mm -hmm. either what someone runs speed. out. Mm -hmm. So you both have one active leaf on the board, so you can both place one on each turn at this point. Okay. I will place a leaf right here. Hmm. And when we place two, they they have to be together. They can no, be anywhere. No, you can place them anywhere. Okay. Okay. Start right here. Okay. We're going after trying to get two <laughs> placements for right, right yeah, away. So oh. since you both have three active leaves, you can both place two cubes per turn. Okay. I'm gonna place here. <laughs> Ryan, 
Oh, you're... Yeah. <laughs> I know. Very nice. Of you. <laughs> Let's see. Can I do that? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, you can. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> We're going right away. Uh... Going after each other's throats. Yes. <laughs> okay, so right here, when I place here, it's going to mm-hmm. cover up the dark leaf. So I can yeah. only build off to the side now. So now she has two active leaves, so she'll only be able to put one cube next turn. Yeah, nice. I like okay. that. Okay. I see. And then I'll go this way. Okay, so I could start another active leaf somewhere else if I wanted to. Mm-hmm. Or I just have one block I can yeah. do. Okay. So you could I cover could go mine. here if I wanted to, or okay. Or you mm-hmm. could play it off of here. And... I see. Yeah, uh-huh. I should do that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can still place two since you have four. Active nice. Players. Yeah, you can. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of protect over here, maybe. Future planning for future me. <laughs> Go sure. Ahead. Okay, so I I now have three, so I can put two, or oh, how you many do. Can I put I have three okay. now, so I'm good. I can do two again. Um, let's see. Two. And I still have, I have four. Okay. I could be me in here. No. (laughs) Okay. And right here. Oh, man. All right. Okay. So, let's see. All right. You need more leaves. No, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Cover mine. I know. You'll have to attach it to your branch. Oh, this way. Technically. Yes. Okay. Well, that's yeah. difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fill stay up. There we go. Mm-hmm. So how many leaves? I can leaves of each other. One, two. Do I still have three? You have three now. Okay, so I can put one more piece. No, because or... you had two to start. At the there. beginning okay. of yeah. the turn. Yeah, okay. Looks like... Okay, I can still place two. Go. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Right in there. <laughs> So you can place two now. Yes. Because yes. I have the two active leaves. Let's see. Okay. So mm-hmm. I can do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and oh, wait. You, you have to do it. You have to that? put it on a branch. Oh, that's right. So it's super important that I. Oh, I yeah, can you. Okay. Uh, can... There we go. Okay. So see how these come oh, off so of your Oh, so technically I couldn't do that then. I'd no. have to put it like here, here, yeah. or. Mm-hmm. Sorry, this okay, one goes no here. Okay, I will just do. Let's see if I can wedge it in there. Or you can go off the side too. That's true. Cause that you are you're covering your own. Where? Right here. Uh, oh, okay. So yeah, ah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> off to the side. Mhm. You want to cover mine or cover a new area? <laughs> this is a. Is this a perfect no. type? Okay. You just start pushing in hard. Okay, we're 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 being too <laughs> gentle with it. Yeah, push it in. Push okay. It in. All right. Let's go up another level here. Woo. And I mean, and I can go out with the yes. branch too, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Okay. So that's my branch. Oh, I can't do, or I thought I could play off of, okay. Here. They go. 
That's good. And then... Did All you right. place two? Oh, you know what? Oh, I you, yeah, I you get, get another more. one. There we go. Maybe make another one. Make another one. Make another one. Yeah, branch. yeah, you need more branches. Like the there we go. Yeah. 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 I, I can try to cover mine. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. I want to go. Oh, I could go. Like this way here. And start going out this way. All right. I still have four. Okay, good. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> you should make more branches. Yes. Nice. Covered my stuff up. All right, I'm going. I'm gonna cover up right over I'm there. Catch you. <laughs> I'm gonna cover up this little leaf there. And do one, do one here too. All right. <laughs> nice. No. Oh, nice. No. That's it. All right, we'll go out this way. <laughs> <laughs> this, is more, this is more safe, I think. And one more. Yeah, go here. Venturing out. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I could start down here, but that's a long way. Well, maybe. Have two. Okay. I'm right behind you, right there. Okay. Yeah. To see your sneaky yeah, you do have to go. look straight mm -hmm. down and then you can kind of see okay, what's going I see on. It now. All right. Um, go up. Nice. Hmm, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that at all. Encroaching. Yes. But. Um, Right here. Not yet. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to see what I'm doing. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, you're going to cover oh, your own I'm leaf okay, well, there. Okay, well, we don't want to do that. Yeah. I can't see. You could do um, the middle am one. I cover, am I covering anything over here? No. Okay. Hopefully not. Push everything over. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> One and okay, going up two. Yeah. Um, okay, I got two more branches. Hmm. 
It's an interesting choice. Is it better to go up or out? Oh, I think here I'm going to go up. All the way to the tallest <laughs> tree. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't cover anything yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna cover mm. that. <laughs> yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Gonna have to build higher than her. <laughs> <laughs> I do have pieces hiding here. It's so like, ah, I'm out. I'm good. Okay. One. Yeah, I'm all out of branches. Oh, you are. So. That I, that's what I thought. You'll I thought be able I was to stop me there if I go over there. So, maybe not the best move except here. I cover that one. And then I still have some space over here. I can do this and this one too. Okay. Okay. So, wait, the game ends when you. One of the first person who runs out of pieces? No. Or... Um, uh, unless you can't place any more, you can keep going. Okay, so she runs out of pieces, but I still have pieces. I you can, can keep, keep going. going. Okay. Yeah. okay. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Cover one of your own pieces up, huh? Wait, does that. Yeah. Oh, it's only from the top. Okay. Oh, <laughs> well, that's silly. Are you trying to cover this? Is that what you're trying to do? It, yes, I was. Come but out. oh, no matter what way I go you, over, way. I will like go cover my own piece. So I could just. Put it towards well, you. I have a piece right here oh, though. Wouldn't I cover yeah. that? So no matter which way I put off of here, it wouldn't be good. Mm. So I should just. Because I didn't end build, up putting put a piece there. Yeah. yeah. It was a good move at the time. Yeah. Because yeah. I might have put exactly. one there. Exactly. But I have but you one could, hiding. So if we're just thinking about how it looks from the top, then yeah. Or you just add on there, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna start adding on here. I cannot see. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get it? No, I don't. Uh, can you help me? <laughs> I, I literally can't see. Wait. You want it right here? <laughs> okay. Yes. There. there. Okay. This one. Um, I think I'm supposed to do one more. Yep. Do I have anything under? No, I don't. Right here, I can I can see that one. <laughs> this is my last piece. This is the safest, I think. It's a safe bet. <laughs> okay, so now I just dispose yep. of the rest of my pieces in the most Use savvy all, way possible. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have no way to block you anymore. Alright, let's see what I can do. You have two branches and two leaves. I know. I could keep building out here. That's probably <clears throat> my best bet. Or see if there's a way you can cover one of mine. That is true, too. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then last one. Yeah. Okay, do I don't think I have anything right here. You just put so. it there, there. You can put it on top yeah, of them. Yeah, it doesn't. No, I would block my own. No, no that's, I can't see. Put it on top. Put it on, on top. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, you can uh, put it on yeah. top. There we go. Because <laughs> you don't oh, need a branch there anymore. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, that's, kinda that's so funny. Look on the side we went. Uh, mm. Alternating. <laughs> one on top of the other. Yeah, well, we did. <laughs> Okay, how, okay, help us calculate the point. Count them now up. Now we count from the top. <laughs> you gotta be tall. <laughs> yes. Oh. Light green has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dark okay. green has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 11. 11. No, Ooh, you got it. Oh, see, covering mine mm -hmm. actually helped you yeah, get that, that last point there. 
kind of see the side or something. Get a little closer, I suppose. <laughs> oh, it's a pretty close game. Our little forest. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fun. Start to grow, in, grow into this this way a little bit. The one thing I'm surprised together. you guys didn't do is just rotate the board so you could see all of your Oh, yeah, I guess that doesn't I, matter. We're trying I wanted to be nice to everything. each other. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that was Tree Block, a 3D strategy puzzle game for two players. Uh, have you played a like abstract strategy game like that before, Rachel? I don't Maybe. think I have. Yeah. Okay. Well, like, you know like, like, like chess. Chess. Yeah, checkers. Yeah, checkers. that's true. Checkers. Yeah. That, that's kind of like the abstract. Like, there's no. I mean, this one there's a little bit of a theme. We're kind of building trees, but it's not a lot of um, art and difference to it. It's, you have mo- limited choice on your turn, right? It just depends on where you play your piece. All right, A Paranormal Detectives by Lucky Duck Games is for two to six players. Takes about 45 minutes to play for ages 12 and up. And we are all right now choosing our character, which is going to be our Paranormal Detective. And we are going to be trying to um, solve a crime. So we're answering the questions who, why, where, how, and the weapon. And if we're the first First people to do so, we get more points or win. I forget in this. Yeah, game. whoever gets whoever figures it all out wins the game. Whoever figures it all out first wins the game, and um, we we'll utilizing our different tools as paranormal detectives, like a Ouija board, um, tarot cards, different uh, sensors like uh, ropes and well, it's like string and um, other things with a ghost to help us figure out who, um, the who, why, where, how, and all of that. And we have a little note card here, which we'll be using to take our notes and try to figure out um, the answers to each of the questions. And so, um, yeah, we'll just, we'll each get question cards too. We'll be able to ask and to try to figure out the crime. I'll be tonight's ghost. Yay, Michael will be the ghost. So he's going to give us all clues and he can't you can't talk, right? Correct. Correct. So we can't give away anything accidentally additionally. So he's using a card right now that has basically everything of what happened. And he's going to be giving us different clues using our the different tools to lead us to the answer and the ghost will win with the winner as long provided there is a winner oh here's the yeah these are the ropes okay and then each of you are going to get your own deck of cards this is for you this is for no Wait, oh, i had them two okay. for you okay you <laughs> and you and then um you and i'm guessing you are her so our card yep. yeah you can look at these these are all of your available, um, like, actions that you can ask the ghost to do to help you answer the different questions. And some of them will be for you personally, information only you will get, and others will be information everyone can see. So, like, the tarot cards or the Ouija board, everyone will be able to see what's going on there. Uh, the ghost touch, where the ghost the ghost draws an answer with their finger on your back, that's only for you. It's a good one for some. Uh, if it's a question no one else knows yet, you can maybe get the information before anyone else. <laughs> but that's only if you can figure out what he's drawing. On yeah, your back. yeah, it's a very challenging one. And we'll go through it with you guys. I'll make sure yes. I did it all correctly. I'll explain it all as much best, best, best as I can. Huh. You open you open your eyes and you get the biggest shock of your life. It just ended. <laughs> it just ended. And you're a ghost. Floating in the air, terrified, you look down at your own body and see a strange group has gathered around your mortal remains, studying them with fascination. They're detectives. That's good. Somehow you need to communicate with them. You need them to discover how your life ended and who's responsible so the culprit can be brought to justice and you can rest in peace. The goal of the game is Paranormal Detective is a party game with an element of deduction. One player takes the role of the ghost, who was recently deceased. Hi, that's me. And uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be the victim, while all other players work as paranormal detectives who are trying to discover how the victim died. Using their psychic abilities, the detective will communicate with the ghost, asking questions about the details of the crime. The first detective who guesses all five key elements of the story correctly will be the winner together with the ghost. 
Paranormal Detectives is a game about death, so some stories contain references to violence, drugs, and, and um... Uh, the parental advisory bang, on here. Boom. Yeah. If you play with younger players, we suggest adults play, blah, 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 blah. Don't worry about it. We're not going to be playing anything too dirty, and if it is, I will censor it completely. <laughs> The setup is we place the main game board on the field uh, with pens and papers. Uh, place the ghost meter markers and the talking board markers, etc., etc. I've already went ahead and done all that. These are the ghost meter markers over here. This area over here is going to be the uh, talking board markers with numbers one through one through five. Uh, I'll decide who plays the ghost. That's me. The player takes the ghost sheet and one random story card. This is my little ghost sheet here. I'm just going to leave it there for all players to see. Um, and one random story card, which is going to be this one here. Um, uh, the three ghost interaction cards, which are these guys over here, and the deck of tarot cards right over here, and then I have a pen as well in case I need to write something on your guys' uh, cards themselves. Everybody else chooses, uh, all the players chosen randomly are assigned one of the detectives and take the matching detective screen, one investigation sheet to be placed behind their screen, all interaction cards with a detective icon in the upper left hand corner, and a pen. Each detective discards the game box all interaction cards without the player count that matches the total number of players in the game, which includes the ghost player. In a five-player game, discard the cards showing the two to three and two to four icons. So we are playing a six-player game, so you'll discard any of the icons in the corners that suggest uh, It's on the bottom lower. left, yeah. yes. So if it says two to five, two to four, two to two three, to those three. are going to go. You're only going to be keeping the six-player versions of the cards. Okay. Can you go ahead and show them to mess up? Mess up? Oh, yeah, so down here. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Oh, yeah, so down here. Okay. These are the ones I keep. Yeah, two three. to six. Two to six, you keep everything else. Okay. All got these. Them. Yep. All so go ahead and good. give me all the discarded cards. You should be discarding three of them for each player. Three and three and one more th set of three. Perfect. Well done. So we did it. <laughs> the following table shows the number, a final number of interaction cards. Uh, so... Six players, you should all have four cards each. Well done. The ghost player is going to read the chosen story card in secret, but not out loud. And they will put wound markers on the chalk outline on the board E, as shown on the story card. Note that in some stories, there are no wounds. And on one wound marker on a victim's uh, a gender, or their, yeah, their, their chosen gender. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'll just take one of these, because it doesn't really matter. And I will take it and place it on this one here. Um... Yes, and one of the victims identify these uh, markers indicate the, to detectives where the ghost's body has been visible has visible wounds and their apparent gender. Finally, the ghost reads out loud the short description of the body's appearance written in italics on the bottom of the story card. In this case, it is a woman in a swimsuit. Okay, so that might be of use to you. Mm -hmm. Uh, the course of play is really simple. The detective player who most recently witnessed something scary will be first. They take a turn and then pass to the next detective in clockwise around the table. The process repeats until the end of the game. The ghost player never takes a turn, and their role of the game is to answer the detective's questions as best as they can. On your turn, you perform the following two things in order. One, you ask the ghost a question, and two, you can try and guess the story. To ask a question, choose an interaction card from your hand and play it face up on the table. Ask out loud any question for which the answer can be yes or no. The ghost must answer the manner suggested by the indicated card. And then uh, after the ghost answers, all detectives make note on their investigation sheets. So utilize your sheets to the best of your ability. Discard the interaction card. You won't be getting it back. After asking a question, you and only you may make an attempt to guess the ghost's death. To try and guess, you should try tell out loud what you believe are the five key words of the story. The, most, the important five key words are who did it, why, where it happened, how it happened, and what the weapon was. Those are what you need to know. Um, a guess consists of those five things, and which are explained here. I'm not going to explain that because I think most of you understand that. And on the left of the stories, uh, story card, the ghost has a list of all phrases they should accept as keys to the story. So, for instance, if the bad guy was a uh, con man, it could be a technically a con man or a swindler or uh, something like that. There could be multiple different mm -hmm. answers for a single who, all right? Um, solving the mystery. After you make your guess, there are two possibilities. The mystery is solved. If you guess all five correctly, you win the game. Otherwise, it's partial progress. If you guess that some of them are not correct, the ghost notes anywhere on your investigation sheet a, a single number from zero to four. Mm -hmm. This number tells you how many keys were guessed correctly, but not which ones. This should be done without the ghost player speaking out loud so that no one knows about the mystery other than what is the number. 
then the ghost makes a note on the ghost sheet. So if I said, Callie, you got three correctly, and she was the this character here with the cigar, and she was the first person they asked, I would write a three on her on her board there. So you guys all know that three of the five were correct. Then if Alicia went to guess next and she got the same three, I would mark three in hers, but it would go to the next column. And so on and so forth until somebody gets five. Everybody's gonna get two guesses. And if nobody guesses correctly, it'll be the player who was had the most guesses, the closest towards the beginning of this track. So if you guess three and she guessed three, and that were the highest of the two, uh, highest of all the guesses, the person who was in front would be the person uh, that, that guessed first, which Callie was the person who guessed first, so she would be the one who wins the game. However, it's an instant win if you get all five correct. And that's basically the idea of the game. The game ends when the detective's uh, guesses to the story are all run out, or if one person guesses uh, correctly. Each of your cards are going to have some type of interaction, and in addition, there is a ghost card, and I can use that whenever I want, or ghost cards, to help you guys mm -hmm. throughout the game. After one of you has used a card, I can use one of mine as well. And I'll explain the cards as you guys choose to play them, what they do. But the only thing you're going to have to ask um, in the game is, uh, you'll ask a who, a what, you'll ask me a question, basically. And it'll involve who, why, where, how, and what weapon. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. And yeah. that is the entire game. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask me or Callie. We are sure to explain that to you. I've got everything else set up here, ready to go. And I'll go ahead and take the top-down mode so that you guys can see the board so that you guys at home can play along and try and solve the mystery for yourselves. Dun-dun-dun! Yes. Dun. <laughs> so we're just taking see all the See if notes. you're smarter than all of these paranormal detectives here. <laughs> all right. We have all of our different instruments <laughs> for detecting here. I'm going to go ahead and read the card secretly so I know what yeah. the heck is going on. And then we will begin with Callie starting so she can explain how, the, how it works. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to guess the first turn, by the way. <laughs> it's usually a bad idea. You don't have a lot of information. I'm going to go through my I have four question cards here. And I'm going to look for one that looks like a good... Uh, okay, uh, I'm ready. I've read the story. This is the story. I can I can look at it whenever I want, but I can't yep. help you in any way other than what the cards you give me are. Okay. So Callie will start handing me one of her cards, and then she can choose to guess the uh, outcome of the story if she wants. Probably not, though. Okay. I think we'll go with the ropes and my question is what was the weapon hopefully it's something easy to create with the ropes we'll find out now with the ropes i can use both ropes and these are like bendy ropes so i can kind of maneuver them so if it was like a gun i could make it into the shape of kind of like a, a, a gun here this would be a terrible gun but i think you get the idea so I'm going to have to give you examples utilizing these ropes here for the weapon is what you're asking for. Yes. Oh, <laughs> he's thinking. It might be more complicated than I had hoped. <laughs> How's it going, Alex? Thank you for joining us. Welcome, Hello. Alex. Hello. Try and solve the mystery together with us. Yes. We just started Paranormal Detectives. We have found the... Um, at the scene of the crime, a woman in a swimsuit. She's got wound markers, and I'll move this back over here, that are kind of spread across her legs. <laughs> and uh, I've just asked our ghost, who is the only one, I've communed with the ghost, and asked him to use the ropes to show what weapon uh, caused, caused the crime. <laughs> Okay. Now remember, this is going to be facing me. So yep. I can turn it around for you guys as well. Okay. This is the, that is what I'm giving you for what weapon was the cause of the crime. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and write down your guesses. And remember, you can always erase and change them if, if need be. Hopefully that would have helped you guys in some way. Otherwise, I'm sorry. And then 
Kelly, would you like to try and solve the puzzle? No, thank you. <laughs> okay, then you're done. I'm done. Now it's Rachel's turn. All Your right. Turn. Let's see here. Do we not? Do we need to know who died? Is that relevant? Uh, no. You are going to need to know. No. Who was the murderer? Why did it happen? Where was this at? How did it happen? And with what weapon? So, for instance, if the weapon was a knife, the way it would happen uh, would be by bleeding to death, perhaps, or by uh, stabbing the corroded artery. I don't know. Yeah. One of those things. So, one that's tricky, the why would be the motivation, or, you know, the... The why it's happening and the how is the is more physicality leg? of no, how it's it happened. No, two leg wounds. It's all, all. This, it's just like all over the legs here. Yeah. And then it's a female. Okay. These are tricky. Yeah. Um, so I think this is the card I'm gonna do. Ghost makes a sound or indicates an object in a room. And okay. I'm going so to I can ask... make any one sound, but it can't be a word. Okay. Or. I can point at one object in the room, and the qu the choice is up to you as to what you'd like me okay, to do, so and the decide. question is up to you as well. Ooh, okay, so how about where, or how, and pointing. <laughs> or you know what? No, Let's you say you did it. Okay. <laughs> right. Was it where or how? Which one was it? I was going to say. It was how is what she asked. And yeah. I have to point in the room somewhere to explain how. Remember, this, <laughs> everything is going to be vague, okay? Yep. I'm not yep. going to be able to tell you the exact answer you're probably going to want, especially when pointing around a room that has very limited options. But here you go. I'm going to point at this thing. And that's no, all no. I can do for okay. you. Thank you can explain you. what I think you're closer to the object that you're pointing to. No, I'm not allowed to leave my seat. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, we think he's, he's pointing to a, a big beanbag chair in the room. I think he's pointing to my whale shark. Or you yeah. There's a whale oh. stuffed animal there. <laughs> and there's also a sleeping dog on the beanbag. From bean my bag. angle, he was pointing directly at the, at the plushie. At the plushie. Okay. Okay. No, he was pointing at Dante. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. So how? Oh, okay. Would you like salt? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a new question now. Please hand me a card, give me a question, and I'll do my best to answer it. Yep. Max is up next, looking through his questions. This is the game of silence, isn't it? Why is the um, ghost talking more than you guys? <laughs> it's not less. Give me a we're, card. We're concentrating. I'm we're, give you we're being competitive. We're holding on cards. You close. have to draw with my hand. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go with where. Where. Where it All happened. Right That'd be fun. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and move it up a um, little bit. I have a question. What are tarot cards? Tarot cards. They're these guys here. There's like the star and the, the devil, et cetera, et cetera. Tarot, mm -hmm. like a tarot reading. You know, the psychics read your no. guests' fortunes. Yes, you do. You've heard of it. I'll tell you later. I'm going to finish this though. So <laughs> yeah, the way I do this is, the way I explain this one is, I use your hand to draw this, but I cannot lift up ever. And the moment I do, that ends the draw. Okay? All right. Looking at where. <laughs> okay. I'm sensing a theme here. Where it, where it happened. I'll even move this over here, the drawing mm -hmm. board. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for you to see. Now I'll go ahead and get rid of this card here. And you can play at home too. You can start making your own guesses. Try and get the five yep. correct. Who, what? Who did it? Why did they do it? Who, where, why, where? How? how? What weapon? Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and now it's Caleb. Caleb, you're up. Detective Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so the ghost does a pantomime, a maximum for three seconds. So I am able to basically mime out something for you. I can't speak. I can't mm-hmm. do anything other than just move my hands and whatnot. And I'll do that in front of yeah. next, right next to Alicia. But you have to give me the question. Okay. Make sure you use your big boy boy voice sticks to the backs over there. <laughs> um, hmm. So basically, you're going to be like... A mime. Yeah. Three seconds of miming. Mm-hmm. Choose a question. Ooh. Say who. That would be the easiest thing to act out. <laughs> who yeah, or... I'm going to go with who. Or how. <laughs> <laughs> how is usually good for Miami, I think. <laughs> Mine, can you even see me a little bit? All right. Come in a little closer. All right, here you go. You wait three seconds of miming of who did it. <laughs> <laughs> that was one second. <laughs> that's what you get. I ain't gonna trip and fall. Would you like to try and solve? No. All right, next. <laughs> Alicia, you're next. And we're all writing on our little boards, our <laughs> notes. You guys get anywhere? Um, what do you think? Can, can you give me an example of what a ta- tarot card is or a yeah. tarot card? Yeah. These are all tarot cards. The star, the ace so of wands, the coin, the wheel of fortune. Kind of tell a story I, with them. I'm explaining. Okay, okay. So if you've never seen a tarot reading, or never heard of a tarot reading, I don't know who hasn't, but... They are different cards that symbolize different meanings. They'll tell you your past, present, future. A lot of psychics use them. They make you shuffle. They shuffle them up, and then they let you choose one. And then you'll reveal it, and you'll be like, "Oh, this is the the, the chariot. This implies that you're going to be um, a ruler at some point, or somebody going in on a charge. journey. You're in a journey. Yeah. So that's how tarot cards work. <laughs> I think work. that would be too tarot confusing cards. for me. Um, can we do? Um, the ghost draws. Well, also realize, too, that I'm going to be using these cards not for uh, in a psychic way, but more in a, for instance, let's just say that somebody was being strangled to death. I might use strength as, a, as an instigator. Or maybe, I'm, maybe somebody gets stabbed. Maybe I'll show the Knight of Swords with the sword going into the person's back. So there's ways I can kind of interpret the cards for you guys to have an idea of what mm-hmm. the story is. Mm-hmm. I'm going to still go with the ghost touch. Ooh. Why? So what I can do is I have to draw something on your back, but I cannot lift my finger off, and you have to feel that on your back and determine what I'm trying to draw for you. Oh, shoot. Okay, so go ahead and give me... <laughs> <laughs> and we don't get to look. <laughs> and no one else gets to look. Yeah. It's, okay, that one's so. only for you. Okay. <laughs> what would you like an answer for? Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> the look on Michael's face of trying to figure out how he's going to do this is great. All right, are you ready? Mm-hmm. No one else can look. <laughs> Can't see anyone. <laughs> Looking away. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> it's really challenging, right? <laughs> Just try and draw whatever it is I drew on your back first, like that. that That's what I've been writing, actually. Not everything I've written. Don't look at my board. <laughs> everything I've written is literally like that and that, like not my interpretation of it, but what it literally is. The ghost arranges to up to three markers on the ghost meter, and my question is, why? We got. So the meters have different symbols on them. They're kind of a range of things. And he can use four markers there. 
and or the color marker. And each of them represents a different track. So this is the heavy and light track, the angel and devil track, this is the young and old track, and this is the color track. What was your question again? The why. And remember that sometimes questions can be useful for all kinds of answers. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Would you like to solve? No, thank you. The next plan. <laughs> card one and how about why Wheel of Fortune to the side. And the Wheel of Fortune is over justice, kind of hiding justice. Whenever you use a card that was already used before, like for instance, if you use the rope again, I'll change the rope. Or if the cards get used again for a different question, I would change the cards as well. Or I could leave them if I don't need them. Are you going to want to solve or pass? Pass. <laughs> All right. So these will, those, these will stay here until otherwise... Noted. So you don't have to write literally everything down. I would only write things down if they were changed. I also say that a very, very, very useful one is this board here. I don't have that mm -hmm. option. Mm -mm. Well, some people do. But you can use their cards and their clues for your own personal benefit. The ghost is going to mouth one word, and it's going to be for the who. <clears throat> Do you want to do it on camera? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> you guys kind of see me here? <clears throat> Are you ready? <laughs> I'll do it one more time. In fact, maybe I can do a bow. I can. I can do. Okay. I can. Here. Bonus. Bonus. Bonus points. Here you go. So I can do. I can do all of it. Now, can if I know what you did no, there? You say nothing other than write mm -hmm. down. Your... Okay. So I can't repeat what you're saying. Absolutely not. Why would you do that? You just give away. Bon you're, you This is all your. You're the private investigator. You want as many things as you can get on your own. And I will follow that up, I believe. And Rachel's a speech pathologist. I'm, I'm, I totally I got that really I'm, easily. I'm, 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 going to, I'm going to follow that up. The same question. I can't choose a question. I have to do the same one, which is what who? or who. I'm going to use the ropes. Okay. But once I've used this, it's gone forever, just like your guys' things. 
So hopefully this will help you guys out. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to solve this. Yeah. My objective is for you guys to succeed. Okay, so I'm gonna use the ropes to show who and help us solve this crime in Paranormal Detectives by Lucky Duck Games. We'll see <laughs> what Michael's come up with, cause I did, I'm glad Michael's helping us out more, cause I did not get a lot from the last clue. <laughs> Having fun there, Serge? This is your bonus for who? Who? Okay, so when it comes to trying mm -hmm. to solve it, you would just look at my sheet and see how no, many I have? No, you would tell, you would say them out loud. Okay. You say them out loud, in order, and then after that, I will mark down on this score sheet how many you got right. If you get all five right, you win. Otherwise, I mark down the number, and if you have the highest amount by the end of the game, and you're the closest on the track, you'll win that way as well. Do you want to try and solve? You only get two guesses, though. After your last guess, you're out of the game, but um, you could still win if you have the highest amount of correct guesses. You know, yeah, why not? I'll even show the screen. Show it here so you guys can see a little better on at home. All right. So I will try to solve that. You're going to try and solve? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and give me... First, who? Jellyfish. Why? Bad luck. Where? Beach. How? Swimming. And weapon? Stinger. Michael's going to write a number, and that's going to be how many of those answers are correct. One. Only <laughs> one of those is correct. Okay. You have to be pretty specific with the wording. There's a couple options on the card, but not a lot. Okay. Caleb, you're up. Which card is it? The ghost placed markers on the talking board. Please inform me of what you would like. Weapon. <laughs> okay, he's going to get up to five. So we'll get up to five groups of letters. And with those groups of letters, we can determine what word Michael might be trying to spell out. It could be more than five letters, too, in which case we only get the first five. And what I would suggest is you write right, down group them. one then group two, three, four, and five, and then you try and form a word, starting with the one letter from this category, one letter from this one, then this one, then this one, and then that one. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. If anyone's been playing Wordle, <laughs> this is a, <laughs> kind of a similar thinking you have to do. It's a little easier, I think. <laughs> hey, you doing Alex and Jason? Staying out of trouble, I hope? Uh, And this is the weapon. Oh, and are you okay. pointing at the actual letter that you have it on, or is it just? No, it's the not group? the letter. This is just the group. Okay. So oh, I'm just I'm just trying to arrange them so you can see. Yeah, it's not specifically F. Got it. It's it's one of these. It's G F W, and then the next one is either an O and E or an A, and the next one is going to be an N S or T, so on and so forth. And hopefully that will form a word. If it doesn't, you're going to have to get as close to the word as possible. If the word is like onomatopoeia, you might only get onaman. 
It's not that word, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and you can keep trying to solve that while people keep asking questions. There's no reason why you can't keep going. Yeah. If you have something you would, if you have a question you're ready for. Alicia's next. Especially because they'll be, they'll be down, down, down time in the game when I'm doing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna like any of the answers. <laughs> then you just you have to pick one. Yep. Yeah, you gotta keep it going. Just pick one. You can help confirm one of your guesses, that sort of thing. For why? All right, the ghost arranges the rope for why. Ooh, I feel like this one's gonna be challenging. Well, I'll do my best. Yep, we'll see. <laughs> I'll be ready with the next one. Do you think you're going to guess this one, Alicia? This turn? We've only got a couple cards left, so if you haven't guessed, it's probably a good idea to do so this I round. Want to, <laughs> oh, wait, no, you don't have to yet. On um, this next round, we'll only have two cards left. I do have two cards left. Yeah, okay. yeah, now because you just turned one in. Can I still guess? Yeah. You get two mm -hmm. guesses. Mm -hmm. I'm saying generally when you have two cards left and you haven't guessed it all yet, good time to guess. Because you're going to be out of... Yeah, yeah. out of turns. <laughs> Try and speed the process along so you have to forgive me of my not... Artistic ar skill. Artistic <laughs> skill when it comes our, our to... Our ghost isn't very artistic. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. What was the question for that one again? Why? Why did it happen? I'm trying to give you guys this. Yeah. As appropriate as I can. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a little better. Okay. Hopefully that helped. You're using the common snacks and bonus okay. points for cheating? No. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're using, the, you're using the audience's guesses. I don't cheat like that. You gotta getting, know that. Getting information yeah, right. from the audience. <laughs> uh huh. All right, next. Who's up next? Wait, no, Alicia's gonna solve oh, it. Would you right? like to try and solve? Mm. So why is the only thing I don't I don't know how to? You don't have to get all five. No. If you get four and nobody else gets more than four, you win. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, who jellyfish? Why? Accident, where, the beach, how, drowning, weapon, water. You got three. The good number there, three mm -hmm. out of five. Mm -hmm. Now, what, the funny thing is, everyone else is going to listen to your answers and try and copy off of you. 
<laughs> that's the that's the penalty for not getting them all correct is that everybody else gets mm -hmm. to try and see now two of them are wrong though so they could get two wrong answers however yeah we could choose your wrong one uh this one the ghost draws with your hand and you're gonna draw the how The how. And I can't lift my hand after I do it either. Yep. Let me do it. Just be easy. Yep. Here's your, there's your drawing. Yes. Is it beautiful? Yes. It's everything you. you ever wanted. <laughs> okay, my, I'm guessing. You're gonna guess? Yes. <laughs> uh, are you ready? I am ready. Who is jellyfishes? Why is um, was, was foolish. Where is the ocean? How was drowning and the weapon was water? Can you repeat all of them one more time? And I want to hear it. Remember, yeah, words are exact. Uh, yeah, okay. Jellyfishes. Why? Foolish. Where? Ocean. How? Drowning. Weapon. Water. Three. Oh, okay. Mm. All right, Rachel, you're up. Okay. Um. Has no one understood this at all? Just out of curiosity, you can't say, don't say anything, but does anybody understand what I'm drawing, what I made there? I kind of do. Would it be helpful if I turned it around for you guys? And that, and that was answering which question? I can't tell you that. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm just curious, does anybody, just, just for the sake of saying words, anybody have any idea what no, that is? No, I do not. Okay. Mm -mm. I have an idea. All right, go ahead and give me a question. Okay. Question is... Talking board, ghost places markers on the. Oh, that's not the question, that's the card. Question is. I think I want to know. Who? Hmm. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I am also going to use the talking board for the same question. I'm going to use the talking board for the same question, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you've got these down, let me know when you guys have finished. Mm -hmm. All right.
Okay. I'm, oh, I've only got one more left. Ooh. One more card left to help out. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, are you gonna guess? I think so. You might okay. as well. Yeah. I know. Um, Talk to the mic. Look at me. Okay. What you got? I think it was a jellyfish. It was a who? Why? Um, she. It was an accident. Happened in the ocean. She drowned, and weapon was the stinger. Have you guessed twice? Have you done it twice now? Is this your second one? I've only guessed once. This is her first guess. Oh, okay. Who did? Who is this one here then? Me. Oh, so hers is down here then. Okay. How many did Rachel get right? Three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Max, you're up. Alright, I'm going to use the ghost scream. The ghost makes a sound or indicates an object in the room for how. Go, go, go. Thank you. I do my best as the ghost. Would you like to try and guess? No. How many cards do you have left? One. Okay. Okay. Alicia's leading the game with three correct guesses. That's right. So somebody else needs to get four, otherwise Alicia's going to win. Mm-hmm. If you get all five, you win instantly. You got a card for me? What am I doing here? A ghost meter. All right. Why? Thank you. <laughs> Very much so, Serge. Very much what? <laughs> what is he saying? Say word. It goes yeah. fart. <laughs> oh. Meaning your little sound effect. Was from small to large. Angel. Oh. Oh. What is this evil and good? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, they could be multiple things too. It's generally. Yeah, you don't want to. Exp- you don't want to explain. But explain yeah. Like, like, well, you, you can just explain the icon. I guess. If you do explain, if you say something like big to small, it's yeah. gonna make me Re- less. Okay. Want, yeah. Want yeah. To. Yeah. So an ant to an elephant, technically. Yes. So I'm just giving you those two instead. Hmm. This board's really relatively difficult to give Mm -hmm. you good information. Mm -hmm. Can be, depending on what you're asking. Would you like to solve? Mm. How many cards you have left? One. How many guesses have you done? Zero. Then guess. (laughs) (laughs) Make it do your best educated guess. There's a story here, by the way. Mm-hmm. That can help us figure out what happened. You get about 20 seconds though before you can go before I skip you. That's the part. That's part of the rules. Okay, I don't know why, but I well, just guess the who jellyfish. Guess, uh, a, guess a why. Why would be. Um, why would be. Why it was an accident where the ocean, how suffocates weapon water. Um, 
Hmm. Hmm. No, I don't like it enough. But you're really close <laughs> on one of them. Really close. Three. So it's again. not. You got. You can't. You got to get it right. Mm -hmm. Especially if somebody else has already gotten it right. All right, you're up, Alicia. Your last go. Oh, well, you have two cards left, huh? You'll have, you'll have another chance after this one if you want to wait. Things can get moving. Hmm. This is the quiet game, huh? Yeah, a little bit. We're very thinking. Very focused. thinking. Hmm. Gotta figure it out. Give me a card. Only got. Yeah, you a only got two left. <laughs> Three seconds of why. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this a pantomime one? Yeah. Okay. I'm telling you, my cards suck. <laughs> hmm. Come on over here. All right. <laughs> well. Okay. You kind of, kind of see me here. I'm gonna do my best. My pantomime. Three seconds. Come in, in a little closer. I, I, I yeah. almost can't because she's literally right there. Okay. But. <laughs> Apply that correctly okay. to the scenario, by the way. Mm -hmm. this, is, this one's really easy, actually. <laughs> you guys should have got this. Just saying. <laughs> it's really easy. Why do things do things? Why do certain individuals or things do things? The ghost is not helping. That was just your own thoughts <laughs> in your head. Yeah, but yeah. the question is, which word do I use? Correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. And think about it. What? But you have, you can you have one more turn to wait. You want if you want to wait, try and get all five before somebody else. Thing is, if somebody else gets all five, you're out. Yeah. But if you guess now, this is your last guess, and if anybody gets more than you, then they they win instead. So it's kind of a you're in a a bit of a pickle. You can even explain to the audience what I did if you want. Yeah, he he hit his hand on his knee and his knee jerked. In a re and um, it moved up. Okay, would you like to guess? You want to wait the next turn. Fifty-fifty. What do you want to do? Will it be a word or multiple words? <laughs> sometimes there's multiple options. Yeah, he he has a couple options sometimes for each one. So I can't tell you. Yeah. I can say that in general it's usually one word, maybe two. That's never mm -hmm. more than two words, and in general it's one word. For all of the cards in the entire game. Okay, I'm going to pass. Callie, you're up. This okay. is your last turn. Yes. So make a count. Um, uh, do you, the, I have the ghost touch left. Uh-huh. So, do that for... You tell me why. I... No, where? Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. I, I have to choose one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, going to draw I'm gonna give you my best my college bag. attempt here. Okay. You ready? Yep. It's going to be a shocker what I'm going to draw. Yeah, I know. All right. You got it? Are you I satisfied? Got you. Yes. Thank you. And I would like to guess, Ghost. Okay. Here it is. Callie for the win, I think. Maybe. We'll see. All right. Okay. The who is jellyfish. Next. The why is natural reaction. Next. Where is the ocean. Next. How is drowning. Next. And the weapon is water.
he's sinking, which means I might be on the edge, close with one of them. <sighs> I'm gonna give you four, but I will say that I was very deter I was very interested in giving you the game. Okay. But I'm not. That means that yep. you have to be perfect or she wins. Mm -hmm. I know you specifically didn't use that word in your sentence there because you thought it was the word, but it was not. Mm -hmm. Which will help you, but they don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, you're up. All right. Ah, no pressure. Um, let's see. Well, I purposely didn't use the one I said. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's exactly what I was telling yeah. you. Yeah. The exact okay. sentence. I don't know. <laughs> My last card is Ghost Touch. Ghost draws the answer. Yep. The finger Same on your thing. Back. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want? Same question. Probably. Yeah. Why? Why? Or not why. Okay. Wait. You want, if that's what you want, I can Hold try. On. Yeah, try. <laughs> you, want, you want the why? I want some more clues for why. I do. The why and the weapon are. Kind I know, of been... it's probably not mm -hmm. going to be super helpful. Right. We'll see. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. <sighs> <laughs> okay. No right. looking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopefully that gave you a, kind of an idea what I was trying to portray. Sometimes <laughs> the, it's not going to be a drawing, FYI. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're being stabbed, I'm going to try and poke you with my finger, right? Mm -hmm. Would be the idea. Or if you're getting run over by a car, I don't I don't know. I do something else. <laughs> I'm not going to go ahead and explain that one, but All right, would you like to try and solve the puzzle? It's your last you turn. Yeah. So you probably should. I should. should. All right. All right. So I wish you I wish thee well. It was a jellyfish. Um it why it stung her where um in the ocean how she drowned um weapon water Four. i can say that you're not incorrect but these are not the droids you were looking for. <laughs> All right. I also have the last go to such. Why are we all And I'm gonna go with with why. Got to maneuver around the table. There you go. That's your ghost touch. That's what you get. I hope it helps. I've run out of thoughts. Of ideas. Are you ready to solve? This is your last turn, so you better make a count. Mm -hmm. You need all five. So Alicia still got. You're still in the running. <laughs> all right. So the who is jellyfish? The why is stung? Where is in the ocean? How is drowning? And the weapon is poison. Three. Which should give you guys some information. <laughs> now, I like the attempt, though. It was an interesting switch up. I mean, ooh, said the ghost. <laughs> You're a talkative ghost. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to be a wow. I got to entertain. We you are. You guys are just being all quiet. Communing <laughs> very I'm successfully. I'm thinking very hard. We're investigating. For words. I'm, 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 an entertain I'm, a, I'm a ghost no. entertainer. Don't yep. do all my data here. And uh -huh. I'm thinking about of like it. the story that you told me, and I'm like, what word is that? Hat? Oh no! <laughs> Michael's lifting up his Beautiful. eyebrow. Beautiful. That's lifting what I was eyebrow. thinking of when when I saw that, and I was like, I don't know what what word that would be. <laughs> it, it that is correct. That is all you need. All right, you're up, Caleb. <laughs> and if he doesn't get the opportunity, then you're gonna have to try and there's an, there's another word for it too. Um, there's you got two there's two options. So, uh, you would you like to use your last card? 
Mm. No. You just, you just want to go for it. Just guess. Maybe. <laughs> you might as well. Well, you gotta do yeah. one of the two. Yeah. Um. Okay. Go for it. Who was the jellyfish? Why was it stung her? Where is where is the ocean? How she drowns? The weapon was. Weapon was mm. Come on. Give me a word. <laughs> the weapon was oh gosh. Weapon was mm. Weapon was oh gosh. Just pick it yeah, you gotta go. Come on. I'm gonna go with it's it's stinger. All right, you've got three. Alicia, you're the last one up. Okay. Oh, as Callie takes the gold, you want to give me a card? Or are you good? You can give me a no, card if you want. No, it's not gonna three tarot cards. It's not gonna tell me anything. You already did that with the Y, and that's not. <laughs> I, have, I also have I also have the ghost board I can arrange things for it, but it's literally also already there as well. Yeah. So you're going to have to just take your best guess. But it's a phrase. That's not a word. Well, that's maybe because that's not the word, but it's it, it's the word that describes that word, that phrase. I don't know what the word I is. I can't though. help you. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> it's a jellyfish. Uh-huh. Why... Because it's in its nature. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's <a> natural reflex. <laughs> reflex. Nature. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Where? Ocean. How? Drowning. Weapon. Is water. <laughs> <laughs> you have to decide if that's better than it's, mine. It is, it is better than Callie's, but it is also incorrect. So I can't give it to you. I want to, but because it's so close, but four. Um, which means Callie is going to win, and I'm going to read the story. All right. The story is called Hot Bath. I'm a loner, and there's nowhere better to get away from everybody else out than out in the ocean. I was swimming by myself, far out from the beach, when I kicked and felt my legs burning. I'd been stung by a huge jellyfish, just trying to protect itself. But the pain was excruciating. I tried to reach the shore, but I was so weak by the sting that I slipped under the surface and I drowned before I reached shallow water. Who was a jellyfish? Why? Instinct or self-defense? Oh. And its nature is correct. That is its nature. It's instinctually, it's just mm -hmm. going to sting you. Instinct. Also, because it had been touched by somebody, self-defense, it... So this is my shield. This is a shield. Oh, and defense. this is the sword. <laughs> defense. Okay. I thought it was like something got stabbed. Like, yeah, it was. I the the, the, the like, sword. The, this is the sword, the stab, right? I, it's, the, it's the shield here. Yeah, so I this, thought maybe it was a person caught right. in a net. but Also, know. it's a jellyfish, so it's innocent. And it's yeah. kind of childlike, yeah, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So, I, I, but I couldn't use this board here for instinct because that would be too much. It would just say insty. But I don't know if that would have been enough information. Insty? Can you write that? Instant or... So, but then, yes, the, where is the ocean, and how is drowning and weapon is water? Because she didn't die from the jellyfish. She died from drowning because she got stung, mm -hmm. which was the challenging part, because everybody wanted to think stinger and think poison mm -hmm. and all that. But I she knew just, it was water from the beginning. Yeah, you, had, you yeah. were really good on it. She kind of carried it away with you by getting an extra one. <laughs> you did. That was yeah, fine. And then you were left with finding out that one word. You knew what it was, and you were close. What did you say? 
Natural reaction. Yeah, and that's really yeah. close to instinct. Because yeah. really, that really is what it is. And it's also, in its nature, is also yeah. very close. But you have to say instinct or self-defense. That's how close you beat this game. Right before you started reading it, Jason actually put in jellyfish, natural instinct, ocean, uh, drowning, and water. Yes. Natural instinct. Natural instinct, I would have, that would have counted. Reaction. If you would have used the word yeah. instinct, I would have done it. Or self-defense, or just defense, I would have taken it. Mm -hmm. Just... Protecting itself, I would have even classified it as well. Anything that would That's actually distill uh -huh. animalistic behavior or like the need to preserve one own's life. All right, so give me, in, the, in order of Alicia going around, tell me guys what you thought, thought of the game Paranormal Detectives by Lucky Duck Games. Um, it was a cool game. Um, I'm not great with words, so I, could, <laughs> I couldn't um, figure out how to describe why. But... All of the other clues I got based on everyone else's clues. I think yeah. mm -hmm. none mm -hmm. of my clues were helpful to me. I only gathered information from other people. <laughs> That's how it works, yes, though. but I got yeah. something from yours, so it, yeah. helped, it helped us out. Yeah. And I love this game because there's all the different ways to try to figure out what's happening and build the story. It really does feel like you're a paranormal detective. I especially love the talking board because I love word puzzles. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it was fun that I felt like I was engaged and thinking really hard the whole time, and even though we were all kind of quiet, like, it was definitely <laughs> a fun game. Um, I felt like I was able to solve, like, a couple of, well, like, a good half of the clues, but I think the most helpful was hearing the other people guess, and then, <laughs> like, I would circle and I'd check, and I'd be like, okay, I think that one, I've heard enough things that I confirmed, so I got down to the why, and I couldn't figure that mm -hmm. one out. That's the logic like, part. I said, okay, I gave you got... all the mm -hmm. answers. <laughs> <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Thank you, Lisa. It's perfect. <laughs> did, did this drawing help out at all? The 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 character under the water. I already knew yeah, that I already one. knew yeah. she was drowning yeah. in the ocean. Somebody, well, somebody want me to draw that, so I you did. You yeah, that was Callie's. No, I did, but I was just oh, confirming it basically. Oh, yeah. okay. So yeah. this this super confirm it then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, this is one hand. I'm like, I, I guess I'll just try and draw. That's a, a really whole, good drawing. I had already, one hand, I had right? already guessed it, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really like these games where it's deductive reasoning. My issue with these games is I overthink things too much. Because I was overthinking the why and the weapon. Well, yeah, you, yeah I think the you, you, tried, you thought poison. that they got, yeah. you thought the four were, the first four were right and the last one was wrong. That's why we tried switching with Stinger, which is not a bad guess. Sometimes that's what happens. Yeah, and mm -hmm. for like weapon, it's like jellyfish have poison. That would be the root cause before drowning, but... Like I said, I'm overthinking things in the technical sense versus the realistic sense. That right. is the one problem I always have. Um, our, our detective guy, you like all the mystery, <laughs> you asked for mystery games? Yes. Like, is this a mystery game? Uh, yeah, I love mystery games. Um, I really enjoyed it. I would have gotten four of them right had I not changed one of my answers. <laughs> um, so, but I ended up only getting three of them right each time. But overall, I liked these little cards that they gave you to where the ghost could kind of talk to you. And one of the helpful ones was where you could point to the different letters on the board to uh, spell out a word because there's so many different variations that you can mm -hmm. spell with that. Mm -hmm. So I think that if we had all like methodically, whoever had it, like used that card for each of the different questions, maybe it would have been a little bit easier to solve. Like I had thought about using the um the letters on the board for the why question and maybe that, that could have been, actually that would have <laughs> if, if you would have done that if you guys would have done that i would have then used my card to add to the rest of the letters mm -hmm. i would have wrote defense so i would have wrote d e d e f e n and then i would have finished the rest of the word with my card so that way you've gotten uh, the full words. Oh, yeah. But no one but ever did that. you wouldn't be able to say that either. I didn't yeah. have that no. card. But All no, my I, cards were garbage. I was like this I know, close I to using either. it for the why mm -hmm. question. But no but one ever did it, it so I couldn't use the card for it. So I'd rather <laughs> rather guarantee that you guys didn't go with fishes and continue <laughs> guessing fishes. So I'm like, let's secure fish and move on from jellyfish. Which is why I pointed at the little the little shark there at the mm -hmm. beginning. Because mm -hmm. it the water mm -hmm. and the ocean. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. what here has water and ocean? Yeah. 
Yeah, I was like, it's obvious. I was about to say. And there's no moonshell <laughs> copy right yeah, here. There's no yeah, moonshell right, copy. Right. Normally it's right behind us. There's, yeah, there's no, no, no copy moonshell around here. <laughs> that would have been the perfect thing to point yeah. at. All right. And of course, check out our website, Unfiltered gamer.com for more blog reviews and of course our review videos on youtube unfiltered gamer and check out unfilteredgames.com we have my game moonshell up for sale as well as a couple of unfiltered gamer t-shirts if you want to uh, support the channel i'm not wearing mine today but no one's wearing it okay we all we gotta get t-shirts for everyone that's the problem here <laughs> all right uh any last words Shout outs. You want to say hi to anybody? <laughs> <laughs> say hi Hello. to your mom. <laughs> it is my buddy's birthday today. Oh, yay. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Ty. Happy uh, birthday. I will. I guess we can show this one off because it is a little bit oh. dark game. This is the Dark Quarter by Lucky Duck and Van Ryder. They do the uh, Choose Your Own Adventure games. So it's called the Dark Quarter. It's another app based game similar to the Chronicles so, you played last night. A hybrid night. app. Uh, Chronicles okay. of Crime, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a mix of a game and an app attachment, and this is the prototype. It's coming out soon. I'll have a video out for it. So if you're interested in taking a look at some of their other games, whether maybe it's not going to be this one here, but maybe a new one called The Dark Quarter, not The Dark Tower, The Dark Quarter by Lucky Duck and Van Ryder Games. Sounds good. All right. Well, that's all we got for you uh, this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and at the end, we do this thing where we point and say, see you guys next time. All so right. I'll wait for the signal. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, we look forward to seeing you guys, guys next time. time. <laughs>